Hey, so we got a 2010 RAV4. It's coming in because it's got a rattle on startup. This one happens to be the intake cam rattling on startup. The This video does not address how to do the, uh, the timing chain. There's plenty of videos on that. What I try to cover in this is how to get the timing cover out put it back on and how to install the gear plenty of other videos on the actual timing chain setup I don't want to step on those guys toes that video has been done but I didn't see a clear-cut way on identifying how to install the intake variable valve timing gear so that's what this video is on I hope this helps you out all right so before you take it off just come right in here and look at it you can see that down here is not lined up with this little notch out right here. All right, check it out. I'm gonna bust this bad boy loose. Bust loose like, hey, bust a move. So I'm sitting next to me, you fine fellow. 15 16 right here in the cam, all right? There's a nice, there's a nice uh, uh, hexagonal area you can grab. 17 right here on the, on the cam sprocket. You gotta get your he man straight. Yeah, you or it won't work. Don't make sound effects, it's not gonna work. All right, ready? All right, here. I will take this loose. Get ready to install the new one. It's that easy, guys. Well, massage it off there a little bit. Touch too much, like ACVC. Touch too much. So you got a larger space here, smaller space here. That's how it's gonna go back on. Here's the actual Toyota service procedure. You can see that it actually contradicts itself. So, I, you know, if I was a smart man, and I am, to let the on-air let it fly. You're welcome. I like to go and use this BG pre-lube or assembly lube. It's awesome. Hey, yeah, you definitely gonna build oil pressure real quick with this stuff. Like I said, doesn't matter what position you put it in. Just throw it on there, let it fly. The uh, the new. BBTI unit on the right, the old one on the left. Uh, the left one went full retard. The right one went full advance. Don't let that hinder you putting it on. I don't care what the book says. All right, so as you go ahead and do this, you hold it for 63 foot pounds. Oh, that's it. Hey, still don't believe it's gonna work in any position? That's almost like saying you don't believe the Bible. Before you fast forward, just check this out. Job 3831 says, can you loosen Orion's belt? Can you bind the chains of Pilates? Crazy part is, those are the only two constellations that you can see with the naked eye that are bound by gravity. How'd they know that back then? So go ahead and once you get it up here on your test fit, and you've got it on your stud here, and it's a stud up top, and you should be able to look through these holes and see if your bolt holes look lined up. This should, you should be able, you just give a little bit of, a little bit of patience here, like that, that GNR song. All you need is just a little patience. So you need a little patience, so you need the grip to go ahead and help you, guide you through this process. If you look in here, you can see everything lined up and we, it slides right on. So look, you get on your studs, go ahead and massage this around a little bit. And, and we go right on. So we'll pull it back off. We'll go ahead. We know we can get it up there, get up there easily. We'll go ahead and we'll pull it back off. We will go ahead and apply the right stuff. We'll slide this thing back on and put it back together. And you can see once it's loose, you just pull it right out the bottom. All right, no problem. And that's how you put it back together. As you go back together, you're gonna wanna put right stuff on the timing cover. And then you're also gonna wanna put it here, here, and right up here where the block meets the head on both sides. Your right step application should look kind of like this, guys. Bang. There's the 
there's another bang up there and there's a little bang right there tommy cover right stuff needs to go around the edges and then also in these two spots here o-rings go right here and right here i didn't get new ones didn't have them uh, so i apply a little bit of right stuff on the o-rings in the vehicle That practice fit really helps out. You ready to go ahead and go back together? Hey, I'm driving the RAV4. When I first completed the job and fired it up, you're going to have a little bit of a rattle. That's okay. Don't freak out. I'm like, hey, Griffizilla Garage lied to me. This guy sucked. Just back it up. Just chill out a little bit. That's the VVT gear building oil pressure the first time. That's all that is. After that, you're not going to have any rattle. So, throw that thing on there. Don't worry if it's locked or unlocked, retarded or advanced. Don't I don't go full retard on it. Never go full retard. It'll be just fine. So, hope this helps you guys out. If it does, please like and subscribe. If you want to send me some money, there's a PayPal link somewhere. Single income family. We can use all the help we can get. I'm getting Especially awesome. this week.